Fossil resources such as coal, oil and gas have contributed greatly to our modern lifestyle and will continue to do so in the coming decades. But to ensure a lasting supply of energy for the longer term, we will increasingly depend on renewable resources such as biomass. To turn biomass into biofuels is a technological challenge, but it's not impossible. In the Dutch public-private consortium Catch Bio, science and industry are collaborating to overcome this challenge, working towards biofuels that should be compatible with the existing infrastructure of factories, gas stations and conventional car engines. The nice thing of biofuels, I think, is that you won't notice it as a consumer. The only difference is that we now use renewable feedstocks to make the biodiesel. In the long run, it will be better for our planet. Biomass is a renewable feedstock that can make our transportation system much more sustainable. These products are sustainable because right now they are just regarded as waste. Waste fuels and waste oils. So think of uh, frying oil or animal fats. Hay or straw or empty fruit bunches or sawdust from the timber industry. We will now convert it into biodiesel. Transportation fuels for your car, for trucks and for, for airplanes. There is already a plane that had a flight on fuels based on frying oils. So that's an example and uh, hopefully in the future this will be more common. Researchers in Catch Bio work on different bioenergy concepts. One route uses vegetable waste oil from the catering industry. Other routes are based on non-edible dry biomass, which is turned into an oil by heating it under high pressure. The resulting oil is further upgraded to fuel precursors by means of chemocatalysis. Especially promising seems the conversion of lignocellulosic biomass into biofuels. Lignocellulosic biomass qualifies best for a AAA status. Available, affordable and acceptable. Lignin has been designed to give strength to plants and to uh, have sort of self-healing properties. So nature has invested a lot of energy in making lignin what we call very recalcitrant, so difficult to convert, and we're trying to go the other way. So that is the challenge that we face. In the biofuel area, we are really at the frontiers of new, of new knowledge. We have a lot of expertise on how to treat fossil, fossil feedstock. We have developed a lot of tools, for example, in terms of catalysis to convert those, those fossil feedstock. And now we have to deal with a different feedstock, which is solid, which is rich in oxygen, which have different chemical properties. Uh, so we have to learn a new, a new ball game. Chemocatalysis is one of the key technologies for making a valuable product like biofuel out of biomass. At the heart of this chemical process is the catalyst, which transforms one molecule into different targeted molecules. A catalyst provides an alternative reaction pathway to the desired product, increases the reaction rate while at the same time consuming less energy, and it determines what products are formed. And because the catalyst itself is regenerated, it can be reused over and over again. How does it work? We start with a non-edible biomass feedstock. For instance, sugar beet pulp, maize stalks, wood waste or energy crops like miscanthus. All natural resources we don't need for our daily food consumption. The solid structure of the cells has to be broken down. That's easier said than done. But Catch Bio researchers can now do this in a cheap and effective way. The separate molecules that are created can be further treated and converted into building blocks for biofuels. In every step in this process, a catalyst is doing the job. So instead of simply burning the lignocellulose for the production of electricity, chemocatalysis allows us to transform lignocellulosic feedstock into products with much higher added value. This means the beginning of a new era, in which the bio-based fuels can be sold against competitive prices on the world market. Shell has identified the biofuel area, the biomass area, as one of the areas that it can contribute best based on the skills that it has on refineries on chemical plants. Partners in Catch Bio convert biomass into building blocks for almost any consumer product we can think of. 
with chemocatalysis as their tool and biomass as an affordable, available and acceptable resource, they are building our future prosperity through green materials and green chemistry.